the social update UG, Mohoz promoted to a four-star general and demoted at the same time of Chagera. Uh, first of all, the thing is that Mohoz has been tweeting various tweets about how he was going to capture Kenya and all that. So some sources are saying that it's because of those series of tweets that his father, Museveni, had to strip him off the title of being the command of land forces. And then at the same time, he promoted him to a full star general. And, that, and that's like a show or an indication of like him being prepared for bigger things to come. The sacking of General Mohoz after only 15 months on the job followed his Twitter meltdown a day earlier that sparked a diplomatic incident between Uganda and Kenya whose capital Nairobi he claimed he and his army would capture within a fortnight. Kenyans on Twitter he led him over the virtual condensation. Hours later, the country's foreign affairs cabinet secretary, designate Alfred Mutua, tweeted that he yesterday shared a social cup of tea with Ambassador Hassan Galiwango and discussed interesting matters. There are different accounts on why the two met. Dr. Galiwango is Uganda's high commissioner to Kenya and a top Uganda diplomat in Kampala. Speaking on condition of anonymity due to the sensitivity of the matter, said Nairobi summoned him to explain Genom Hose's bits. Yom Sajono, Nairobi Yom Samon is a very nyula, a win to Mohose via Yugendiko Twitter. Another source explained that Dr. Galiwango sought audience with the cabinet nominee on instructions of Kampala after indications that President William Ruto's expected trip to, to Kampala on Saturday to attend Uganda's independence. Diamond Jubilee on, Saturday, on Sunday has been paused in the wake of the Twitter firestorm pending clarification. Did you know Gendera President wa Kenya Mpaya William Ruto kukwela nga jamu guwangi ya Uganda independence? Yalu pause in the wasuka wenga watereza bulu nji nyo kusunga zino kukweza Twitter mpose ya Uganda kukwela nga loza nga suwa kukwela nga wambachi as public, moral and, and diplomatic pressure piled, Uganda's foreign ministry in a statement that avoided direct mention of the first Sunday's polarizing tweets noted that, that it does not transact diplomatic business with sovereign states. Through social media, the ministry wishes to emphasize that the government and the people of the Republic of Uganda treasure the existing strong bilateral relations between the people and the government of the Republic of Kenya. Based on our shared history, common values, mutual respect, trust, and the desire to build a unified East African community, the ministry noted in the outside October 4th statement. Dr. Mutua shared the note bubble on his Twitter hand offering a third commentary that we appreciate the clarification. We learned yesterday that uh, Mohoz did that thing trying to trying to intimidate Kenya. That that news kind of broke yesterday over the internet. That Mohoz was saying that uh, he wanted to attack Kenya Nairobi in two weeks. Then, like just after one day, that's when the president had to promote him to general but stripped off his CLF position and replaced it with Kayanja Mohanga, who was elevated to the rank of a lieutenant general. Genom uh, has treated plans to celebrate his new rank in a street bash and the announcement triggered memories of his mega birthday parties held between April and June this year. Different parts of the country until his father, President Museveni, applied to the fund. Speeches at many of the Jamborees foreign political undertones. Some of them, General Mohoz, explicitly spelled out his political ambitions, including reference invitations to take state power, a taboo subject for serving Ugandan military officers. His flurry of tweets at the time in which he backed 
I raise rebels against the Ethiopian Prime Minister, the Ahmadis government, in support of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, commented trouble for Uganda both within and foreign policy, regionally and overseas. Then holds barred comments, opened the army criticism that it was holding special treatment to General Mahose, because he's a son of the commander in chief, yet previously other serving officers were court martialed for scant and often off the cut political remarks drafted by the avalanche, ripping his Peter handle. Him seven, Bagaman, Timu, Amaji, Belimukwa, on said General Mahose, special treatment, Kuanga, Mutuachi. One of president, I think about Banamaja Valala Valabaka of Bedana Bengal politics. Baba Kanga Vula Baba Kanga Vula Bagaman Rajim was it on Kanga. What you need to know is that Genom Host can go as a son to President Museveni, and apart from his military role, also serves as a senior presidential advisor, especially for operations. This role has given him the ambit the arbitrarily seen over giving this role has seen him an arbitrarily seen or given to serving military officers to engage in political processes including recent discussions with Rwanda's president Paul Kagame to open the common border which had been closed in 2019. Just so Advising our special operations, you favor never 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 never